Hi guys, I hope you guys are all doing well today. Today I have a haul for you guys. It's Friday. It's 12.15 a.m. So it's kind of technically Saturday. Um, so anyways, the VIB sale started yesterday at Sephora. I went, I placed an order online. So I have a huge order coming, which is expected on Tuesday. Um, and then last night I wanted to go in just because, you know, they were talking about like how they were supposed to have a DJ and you got a free toad and all this random stuff. So I've been really, really sick. That's why I haven't really made, making a lot of videos lately. Um, I've got asthma and bronchitis and all just like a hot mess. So, um, I wanted to go in yesterday anyways, and I went in, it was pouring, um, it was cold, it was just a big disaster. Um, they had a DJ, they had refreshments, they had chocolates, they had a bunch of like extra associates there. And my Sephora is usually really nice, really friendly. The dead store was pretty much dead, and there was a million associates there, and not one offered me any help at all. Um, I was really, really surprised. Um, I didn't go in looking all made up or anything, but um, I don't know, I guess I just feel like they didn't think that I was going to buy nothing or that I wasn't a makeup customer when I'm like a 3,500 point VIB at any given time. So whatever. Um, I was really unhappy with not being offered any help, so I left. Um, I decided to go back today to another Sephora and I had like a little bit of better luck there today. It was really, really busy though. So I just went in and looked at some stuff that I kind of have been eyeing, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to buy them over the internet. So I went in and I bought a bunch of stuff. But anyways, um, before I went to Sephora today, I stopped by Nordstrom, picked up a Chanel polish. I don't own anything Chanel. Chanel's like way out of my league. I mean, yeah, I buy a lot of makeup, but I've just never bought anything from Chanel because their stuff's really expensive. But I saw this polish on Nikki Tutorials a couple days ago and I was like, I need that polish in my life. I have like 500 nail polishes, so it's ridiculous, but I really liked it. Um, if you guys have seen her video, then you probably know what polish I'm talking about. It's the Malice palette that's like in their holiday collection. And it's just, it's so pretty. I don't know. I just loved it. It's just like a beautiful burgundy. So... Yeah, so I picked this up tonight, and then I also picked up a Deborah Lipman polish. I have like six or seven of her polishes. This one's called Today Was a Fairy Tale. I'm guessing it has to do with Taylor Swift. I love Taylor Swift, so. And it's just a really pretty silver holographic polish. So, yeah, so I picked that stuff up at Nordstrom before Hund. Um, this Chanel polish was $26 and this Deborah Lipman was $18. So yeah, kind of expensive. I spent like $50 on nail polish. Ay ay ay. Anyways. <clears throat> so going in today, I still got my tote. The Sephora tote that they were supposed to be giving away, baby. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. It's just like a reusable kind of bag like the ones you buy at the Disney store or something it's nothing really amazing to be honest um, I think the one from last year is better it was actually like vinyl um, and yeah but whatever free bag so I bought a bunch of stuff that I was kind of wanting to buy but I was like no I'm not gonna buy that because it's too expensive or I have something that looks a lot like it yeah that didn't work so the first thing that I bought was another nail polish, and it's the Sephora by OPI. It's real. It's the real 18 karat gold top coat. I've been kind of wanting a top coat one of these. Um, I think OPI makes the... OPI has one. I think they're the only... Oh, and Zoya has one. Um, but they're like $30 always. Um, and somehow they were marked down to $15. I believe it was... Yeah, it was on sale for 15 bucks, so 15 is a lot better than 30, especially with 20% off. So this is, it looks like it's just supposed to be like gold flakes or something. So gold's like really in right now and stuff. 
especially for the holidays. Um, so I thought, what the heck, why not use, buy it, even though I'm not going to be going to no fancy schmancy holiday stuff. I'm freaking bad and pregnant, so my husband's deployed, so I'm, just, I'm a hot mess, so it's not like I'm going to go anywhere. Fine, but I guess I could just do my polish for myself, right? Alright, so the next thing that I bought was this Dior powder. I only have one Dior palette, like an eyeshadow pa palette and some mascaras and stuff. But I've been seeing this and I've been contemplating over and over. And then I saw it today and I'm like, uh, I gotta have it. So it's the Dior Skin Amber Diamond Powder. It's an ultra shimmering all over face powder. And it just comes in the little typical, I guess, pouch that they come in. Just standard blue looking packaging. And this is what it looks like inside. So it's really pretty. It kind of reminds me like of a um, Bobbi Brown shimmer brick or something. So that is cute. I'm not gonna bother doing swatches of any of this stuff either just because um, I have a lot of stuff to show. So got this and this was uh, $44. And they also have another one, which I don't remember what its name is. But they have one that's got like pink and stuff around. The next thing that I got was this, which has been coming in and out of my shopping cart online like every day, all day long. I take it off, take it off, take it off, take it off, blah, blah, blah. So I finally ended up caving on it because I figured. I obviously want it, but then I don't want it, but then I do, and then if Monday rolls around and I want it, I'm going to be pissed that I didn't get 20% off. So it's just the Lancome Hypnostar mascara that's got, you know, the whole like, Betty Boop thing going on. Um, I got two free sets of the Lancome um, mascara little perks that they were giving away recently that comes with, like two or three mascaras, and um, I, I don't know if it has this one. I think it has the Hypno Stall one, so this one's Hypno Star. Um, so this just comes with the mascara, the Curl Booster Mascara Base, um, an Art Liner, which is their liquid liner, and I think that retails for 28 alone, and it's a really nice black liner. So, and then it's got the Bi Fight, the Bi Face Shell Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. So, can never go wrong with Move Remover, and this is 34 dollars. The next thing I bought, I've also been kind of debating, but I went ahead and bought it, and it's just this um, fragrance Mommy, sampler. All right, sweetheart, and it's just this fragrance sampler for my husband. Um, you know the one where you just have like little, just little samples. He can sniff them, and then he can go in and get get one of them for free, or well, whatever. I don't know if it's a free, but. He gets like a coupon for like a full size one. So, all right, this is when I close. All right, there we go. So the options um, are the Dolce & Gabbana, the One Sport. It's got the Giorgio Armani Aqua di Gio, the Givenchy Play, Gucci, Gucci by Gucci, um, the Hannah Mori, the John Varvatos, Artisan, Jean Paul Gaultier, Lamel Jack Black Post Shave Cooling Gel, Izzy Miyaki, Leo De Easy, I don't know, Lacoste, Paco Rabone 1 million, Versace, and the uh, Eve Saint Laurent. So, or Ive Saint Laurent, whatever. So, 12 little perfumes, and that's not bad. It's 50 bucks, and with 20% off, it's 40. So, you get, you know, a full size cologne for 40 bucks. Not too bad. And then, this is the main reason I went, oh, I don't even know where I heard about these things. I don't know. Like, I bought Hourglass recently. I bought the primer and serum and all that stuff, the little set. And um, I've heard really good things about it. So in my order that I ordered on, that will be here on Tuesday, I got the Hourglass bronzer. 
So somehow I guess like hourglass got kind of stuck in my head and I started thinking about hourglass stuff. So somehow I started like looking up stuff from them. I don't know. Um, so I came um, across a YouTuber, that guy, his name is Josh Collier, I think. Um, and he works for Hourglass. And he's just like this really cute guy and um, has all these cute little videos and stuff. And somehow I fell on his video about um, like recommendations on VIBs. Even though like I have like a list of stuff I could recommend, um, there's I always like to watch other people's videos to see what they recommend. I like, like asking people, oh, what are you going to get on the sale? Just in case there's something that I haven't heard of or something, maybe like I can try. <sighs> so, um... Gosh, I don't even know where I'm going with this. So anyways, I watched this video yesterday and he was talking about Hourglass, um, these lip products. And then I watched another video that he had previously made on these lip products. And the products I'm talking about are these Hourglass Opaque Rouge lipsticks things, liquid lipsticks. And uh, I just couldn't get them out of my head. Like for the past three days, I've just been like, I need those lipsticks, but I don't want to pay so much money for them. But finally today, I'm like, I need to buy them because if I don't, I'm gonna regret it and I don't want to pay full price so without further ado so yeah so they're the hourglass liquid lipsticks the main color that I wanted which I guess came out for a holiday is called icon it looks like this and they're just like it looks just like a little lip gloss but I mean it's supposed to be this is the full size and stuff but um they're 20 20 they're 28 dollars yeah, but um, they are so pretty. This color is just gorgeous. Um, so it's just a doe foot applicator, which is good because if it was a lip brush, I would definitely have not bought it because I hate lip brushes. I hate 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 them. So I love the doe foot. Um, and this is supposed to be a 14 hour lip stick. Um, from reviews I've read, normally lasts about eight. Um, before you get like feathering and stuff. I guess all just also depends if you eat and drink and stuff. But um, I guess Hourglass, another thing that he's mentioned was this is like everything free. It's paraben free, it's fragrance free, sulfate free, um, synthetic dye free. It's like everything free. So it's like a really good product, you know, it doesn't have anything crazy in there. So yeah. So anyways, this is the color Icon and I love it. It's a pretty... Oh, it's on. It's just this beautiful, like, deep scarletish red. I don't know why I fell in love with it so much, but I think it's so pretty. So, there's the swatch of that. And another question that I had too was um, are these, you know, close to OCC lip tars? Because I have a million OCC lip tars, I will have 20 of them. And I'm like, well, if they're too close, then I don't really want to buy it, bother. But um, Tom Talia said that they're not even in the same category, that they're totally different. So, we will see. So, I wanted to buy, like, six, but when I got the store, they didn't have that many colors. So, I got the Icon, and then I got this other one, and this one's called Raven. And this is more like a brighter red with, like, corals, kind of corally. Like, this one's a lot brighter. But I love bright lip bees, so... It's okay for me. So, that's Raven right underneath it, so... They're really, really pretty so far. So, I got... I picked up those two, and those are the liquid ones, as I said. And then I ended up picking up Icon as well in the Femme Rouge lipstick. And this is just the regular lipstick. Um, this one was... Oh gosh, was it that much? $30. Oh dear, I didn't even know it was $30. I probably wouldn't have bought it. Damn. So, um, but I love the color. So they have, they came out with the, um, the Opaque Rouge, the liquid lipstick and icon. And they have the matching lip liner, which is like 20 something too. And then they got the pencil. And then I think they have like the sheer lip gloss as well. So this is what the lipstick looks like. And he showed it to, um, the Josh guy showed it and it's just it's such a pretty lipstick um it's actually like the hourglass is actually like cut in there so it feels really nice it's a pretty heavy lipstick as well and this is what it looks like it's kind of a different 
looking, but it's so pretty. So this is the Icon in, um, color as well. And it matches pretty much, um, almost sweetheart. So it matches pretty similar to the eyeshadow. I mean, the eyeshadow, the liquid lipstick. So on the top right there is going to be the lipstick. You just can see that. So let's just let the top swatch of that is the lipstick. Um, another thing too with the liquid ones is um, they're all supposed to be matte. Um, it takes about 60 seconds for them to dry to matte, so they'll be a little sticky and wet. But um, yeah, they're supposed to dry to a completely matte finish, which is nice as well. So that's a lot. And then since I'm, I got into this whole hourglass craze thing, I ended up picking up the hourglass set that they have online right now. Um, it's called like the best of hourglass or something. It's $59. Um, I was thinking of getting another of the primer sets the, with the serum for $25. Um, but I ended up just picking the, this set up instead. Because it's got a lip gloss in there and a mascara. And I'm betting that the stuff is probably pretty good. So this is like the same the same sizes that comes with the $25 set. So for like another... $24, I got the lip thing and the mascara. Um, and this is called Ignite. So this is the sheer lip gloss. And then the um, mascara is just the Film Noir um, Full Spectrum Mascara. So excited to try that stuff out. And then last but not least is this totally didn't I don't even think I saw this online. I don't even... I don't know. It's like totally something random. Um, it's from Illamasqua. I don't have anything from Illamasqua. I mean, I've heard of the brand, but nothing's ever, like, really jumped out at me. Oh, dear. This video's getting really long. Gotta hurry up. So, I saw this. And it's just... It's called the Mystery Selection. Um, Alter Ego. And it basically is a box of mysteries. Like um, it says, it has ten full size items, two of the name bestsellers, and eight mystery shades. So everything is a mystery. So I have no clue what is in here. <laughs> um, and this set was sixty dollars. Um, so it's a sixty, it's two hundred dollar value. So I thought, hey, why not? Why not just try this stuff out and see what the heck's in here? Ooh, pretty. Ooh, very nice. So this is just what you get. It's like, as I said, it's just a mystery box with a bunch of random stuff in there. And that's what I'm opening my eyes to. And I'm definitely liking, so, a lip gloss in Mistress. This is really hot. Beautiful. Totally bright. Totally up my alley. A purple nail polish. Um, this is called Joe Mina. Ooh, this stuff is really nice. A uh, cream eyeshadow in crumble. It's kind of like a soft pink color. And then I got a cream blusher in the color brazen. This is like bright red. Ooh, look at that. So that's cool. Ooh, ooh, I got a liquid metal. Yay, I've been wanting one of these. Ever since I saw some Talia do. And look how beautiful this color is. Ooh, love it. That is really pretty. This is a cool set. And this color is called uh, Stoic. Ooh, I got another lip thing. And this one is purple. And it's called Tantrum. And this is really nice, too. This is really exciting. People should do this more. Companies should do this more often. Um, two pencils. This one's called Adamant. It looks like a black. And then we have a brown one, and it's called Severe. So two pencils, and it says you can wear it on your eyes, your lips, your face, your body. So you can wear them anywhere. And then I got two lipsticks. You, Yay, let's see what they are. Fable. It's like a pink, a baby pink. Looks Kind of like Lady Gaga a little bit by Mac. It's pretty. Alright, sweetheart. 
And then the last product. Ooh, this is pretty. This really pretty pink. And this one is called Drench. So this is a really, really cool set. Alamosca stuff is not exactly cheap. So I got 10 full-size products for $60. No clue if they have this at your store. If they do, I highly recommend this. It's just the mystery selection. 10. And it's what's kind of funny is because they had like all the stuff here and it looked all silver. So I'm like, what if like mystery is like the color of their silver stuff and I'm getting a bunch of random silver stuff. But um, took the plunge. Never heard of it. And yeah, I'm so excited. So yeah, okay, that's the end of my rambling. This is the end of my Sephora haul. That is all the stuff that I got. The VIB goes on through tomorrow, which is Sunday. Through Sunday. So if you guys are a VIB, go check it out. All the stuff I got is great. I love it. And uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys have a great weekend. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Tuesday probably when I get my Sephora haul from the mail. Bye, guys.